So listen, it was a great day really, I think in 1990 when the company arrived here in Birmingham. It was a big shift because it was a large company which came from Saddles Wells in London and the Hippodrome Theatre here brought it here with the help of the City Council and the Arts Council. Very important, three parties making a big effort, bringing a whole large company to be here. And I would say it's the best thing that ever happened to what became Birmingham Royal Ballet. We've always toured internationally. The company, even going back years and years and years, when it had a different name, always toured. And in my time here since 2005, we've toured abroad every year, and the Japanese relationship has been one of our best so this, in my time here, this has been the third time we've been back to Japan. So last time was immediately after the, um, all the Fukushima problem. You know, we were the first company back in Japan af after that great big disaster there. So uh, we're well known in Japan and much loved there. So it's great to go back again. Of course, all the young dancers, new dancers, it's a great experience for them to go and experience so such wonderful so audiences. Quite a lot because, yeah, well, yeah. we've got so many venues, we tend to... Um, yeah, trying to take a look I think it's an important two-way thing. We work very closely here with the City Council and the other authorities here and the universities to make sure whatever we do is useful to the city. So, I mean, the relationship we have in Japan is one example of a number of countries. So China, we're quite well known in China in various places. We're quite well known in many parts of the United States and bits of Europe. It's funny, our travels tend to be long distance. <laughs> We wish we had a few more shorter distance travels, but that said, whatever we do, we take the name of Birmingham. Yeah, I think it's really important, this one, actually. One of the things when I came here, the company was shorthand known as BRB. We still use that internally, but I changed it to be called Birmingham because I thought that was a good idea. So whatever we do, we go as an ambassador for Birmingham. We've had three regular visits to Norfolk, Virginia, for instance, where, you know, the first English settlement in the United States, and that's a, a big relationship, and that came um, as a result of history, really. Well, it's an important, you have to acknowledge these, these anniversaries. It's important to, 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 you know, rite of passage and all that sort of stuff. And Bali is actually rather good at making a fuss about these things. It's good at galas, it's good at showing off. It's got a lot of colourful material. And dancers are very good about making show. You know, they are very good about making show. And David Bintley, our director, really enjoys putting these, these together. So, but I think you have to mark success story. It's a great success story for Birmingham, for the infrastructure that's been built. Elmhurst School, Hippodrome, our new building, etc. It's to die for. Well, I think it should be proud of itself as well as proud of the company. The company has committed itself and actually loves being here. And what do I really like? If you think of Bali, this is a slightly glib line, as, as a historic Caucasian activity. If you're going to ever change the profile of Bali and how Bali was, Birmingham's the place to do it. I love it for that reason. You're playing the role. Um, rather than